Alright man, Torture Talk, 6 o'clock show 6 o'clock show, look man So, today's episode I want to talk about Elliot Wilson um, There's a couple of things that have been on my mind about this guy um, And he said a couple of things regarding to Kendrick And um, I just don't think that he's giving Kendrick a fair shot um, And I got a lot to say Before I get into that, you know, I got to get my spill This is Torture Talk if you like the content, please consider subscribing. If you're new here, let me work for your subscription today. All the beautiful, sexy ladies, put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones at. Just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content absolutely free. But if you want to leave a donation, links on the screen. Cash app, PayPal's in the description. They called me the Hidden Gem. I went from 1,300 subscribers to over 11,000. I should be 12,000 by the end of the night. A million by Monday morning. So look, we're going to get right to this, man. Let me know where you're from, too, man. I appreciate it. Appreciate all the donations, too. I really appreciate it. Thank y'all so much, man. So let's get to the clip. <laughs> this clip comes from Chilling with Moni. You know what it is. Make sure y'all go like, share, subscribe to her page. And, um, yeah, let's get to it. First revealed, Kendrick was doing his first sit-down interview, and it was conducted by SZA, which is Kendrick's friend and former label mate. And a, a few journalists got their tweets off, but I did see um, Elliot. He has something to say. So this is the tweet Elliot put out. Shout out for the, to the cousin in the Discord for getting me the screenshot because y'all know I'm blocked. <laughs> Y'all know I'm blocked by Elliot, so I couldn't get the screenshot. So shout out to the cousin for uh, uh, posting it in the Discord. If you are not in the Discord, you should be in the Discord. Join the Discord. The link is in the description or the comment section. One of them. But yeah, y'all, this is what Elliot had to say. He said, nah, on the new interview, plus nah, on the new song, Monday Mornings, West Coast. What? Now, I'm assuming when he said... This is what I mean. And this is why. This is exactly why Kendrick don't fuck with this dude. Because these dudes do underhanded shady. You know what I'm saying? Just say what it is, man. Like say what it is. You gotta, you, you have to, you have to uh talk in innuendos and subliminal codes. You're not Kendrick, dog. Stop trying to be Kendrick. Just say what it is, Elliot. Just say the fact that you, your, your favorite rapper that you mentioned over and over again saying that Drake is one of the greatest outside of Jay-Z. Just say you got smoke, bro. Just say you got smoke. That's just, just submit it, bro. Because to me, it just seems like you just, you got a lot to say, but you don't want to say it. You defending this dude who called you a rat, bro. He called you a rat. And you're defending him. It's crazy to me. Is nah on the new song. He's referring to Tyler the Creator who dropped a new song today. Have y'all heard the song? How do y'all like it? I've seen a few clips on Twitter, but I haven't heard the song in full. When he said nah on an interview, he's talking about Kendrick and then he's talking about Tyler the Creator. Golden Rose, why did he block you? Because then he blocks me because he put out a tweet the other day asking, uh, where are the raps? on under the Billboard Hot 100 chart post. Mind you, they posted the top 10, I think. Mind you, it's like one or two weeks removed from Kendrick being in the top 10 after he done sat there for 20 plus weeks, just broke the the rap, um, one of the rap um, longest standing rap songs in like however many weeks. And he put out that tweet that I felt like was very disingenuous. Why would you? That, that's what I mean by Elliot. Like he does little goofy shit like that. Like you know, you know damn well that you really saying where's Drake? That's what you're really saying, bro. You could pretend like you're not. You're really saying where's Drake? But you don't want to. You don't want to speak on a couple of weeks ago or maybe a week or two ago where not like us was in the top ten. Now you want to say where's the raps at in the top 10 when you knew Not Like Us was in the top 10 for all of those weeks. Like, that's what I mean by these goofy niggas, man. 
just goofy. Act where are the raps when Kendrick just sat in the top 10 for 20 weeks. He's been carrying rap all year. And you put out that tweet and then you put out that tweet knowing people are going to uh, respond to it in a certain way. So you look at the quotes and it's like, well, you guys lynched Drake. You guys killed Drake. He he was the biggest thing in rap. No, that's not the truth. Drake hasn't had a top five hit since October 2023. So I feel like Elliot does a lot of trolly things for attention. He doesn't move like an actual journalist. That's a hundred percent facts. He really doesn't. That's why I've been stopped following him. I don't listen to nothing he says because he is not a journalist. He is a glorified troll. Him, academics, they're glorified trolls. I would even go as far as saying academics do a little more investigating than him. But this guy here, Elliot Wilson, the laughing man, that's what I call him, Mr. Laughing Man, because he always laughing all the time. Ain't Everything ain't funny, Elliot. But he's always laughing all the time. The laughing man. He's, he's literally, I tweeted it, he's literally a troll with just a longevity of credentials. And he didn't like that, that I, that I commented that. He didn't like that, so he blocked me. Mind you, like five, six hours before that, he had followed me. So he followed me and then blocked me like 10 hours later. Ah, it was funny, though. It was very funny. Um, But yeah, y'all, he tweeted this. He didn't like the new interview. And I just felt like this is who this is who artists are supposed to be comfortable sitting down with. And I'm not saying like you have to kiss these artists ass because no, I don't I don't believe that. You don't have to kiss these artists ass if you don't you don't like a record, you don't like what they're doing. Cool. But there's a journalistic way you can go about doing and saying things. This doesn't feel journalistic. This feels like media takeout. This feels like you being a troll. And in addition to that, like I just explained to you guys earlier, the, the, the troll post about where's the rap. When J. Cole dropped that poor Antonio song, he reposted it talking about some light skins for the win. Like what? What do you mean light skins for the win? He sounded like academics twin. That's the perfect way to put it. A lot. This is what I'm saying. Like, Elliot Wilson just be saying some of the goofiest things. Like, why do we take people like him serious? Why? It's because he did a couple of things and he interviewed a couple of people. It's like they don't really do. It's like they say weird things. Like, and I ask myself, how come people like her, me, deleted, big fish, a uh, 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 big kiss, I mean, the boy Big Zoe, uh, uh, a bunch of other ones. Deville, how come we don't get these shots? And I, and I'm 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 one of those people that I'm gonna make sure when I get to the top because I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna pull all of them up because they deserve it. I'm gonna pull every one of them up. Oh, Evans, all of them, pulling every one of them up if I could, because. Those dudes, like Elliot Wilson, they don't, they're not genuine. They're not genuine. I, a lot of them are losing the essence and the morals and the ethics of what being a journalist is. They've adopted the academic style of journalism. And it's like me, for example, I have a degree in journalism, but I don't call myself a, a, a journalist because when I come on here, great point. The other day I got a comment from somebody who was like, oh, you only talk about certain things. This is a hip hop blog. You should be talking about other stuff and other people. And I had to leave. And I hate when people do that. I want you to understand I'm talking about Drake Kendrick majority of the time on this channel. I'm talking about that. I can talk about anything. This is just what's in. And I know that a lot of followers like that. So I'm going to do that. But y'all to understand. I don't just talk about that. I want to talk about other things. I will. But this is what I want to talk about right now. And I'm sure she's the same way. You can't minimize people. And I think a lot of people do that. A lot of people do that. 
but let's keep it going a comment and tell them this isn't a hip-hop platform i'm just a girl from new jersey who likes to come on here and give my opinion on shit i can call you from new jersey mm. what part of new jersey you from we may have to link up one myself a journalist but i'm not gonna do that because i don't i don't conduct myself like a journalist i'm not straight to the t i'm not to the books i'm not to the ethics of journalists even though i had i adopt some of those principles of being um not presenting salacious information and not just telling you gossip i give you guys the opportunity to take what i'm saying and take from it what you will but i'm not a hip-hop platform i'm gonna get on this youtube that says chilling with moni and talk about whatever it is that i want to talk about and if you don't like it i tell people just unsubscribe because again this isn't a, a hip-hop platform i talk about hip-hop on that's a that's a fact that's a fact i think that people got to understand we talk about this is torture talk. I'm just gonna be honest with you. This is torture talk. I I recently was discovered, you know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna continue to do what I do. Y'all here because y'all like me and my takes. Y'all not here because I talk about a certain topic all the time. So I see some of the videos that I put out. Some of the videos I put out, I say, I don't know if this is gonna get views and it ends up getting more views than the videos I think is going to get a lot of views because for some people it's just like that some people like certain things I don't know but I do know that I'm going to give my best whether it's talking about this topic or that topic it doesn't matter just stick with me but let's keep it going, man, because she got a lot more to say. Here, And I talk about different artists, but that's not what this is. And I don't want anyone to get that confused. But Elliot is supposed to be a journalist. He's not supposed to be trolling and being messy. That's why people don't, people of importance don't want to go to him and sit down with him. That's why you didn't get this interview. I don't even know why he thought he would get this interview. The man had to put out a copyright strike on you because... You thought it was cool to alter his work. You thought it was cool to remove the the second verse of Meet the Grams. And you think that man's supposed to sit down with you? What? Boy, bye. You <laughs> Hold up. I ain't never do that. He put out a version of Meet the Grams without the second verse? <laughs> <laughs> Bro. Oh, man, I can't believe that. Bro, you put out a verse, you put out a, a song, you took the second verse, you took the verse out where he talked about the daughter? Is that the verse? I'm, I'm, I'm figuring that that's what the verse is. You did that? That's cr bro, that's crazy. After my work and then think I'm supposed to sit down with you? Absolutely not. You can't, you cannot want to be taken seriously by someone like Kendrick Lamar as a journalist and get one of the biggest interviews of the year when you operate the way you operate. Mind you, I ain't telling nobody how to, how to, how to do anything, but you have to be in tune with obviously why no one wants to sit down with you. Again, you, you're literally nothing but a troll with longevity and connections under your belt. That's how I see you. My little, my little opinion doesn't matter, but that's how I view you. If I was someone like Kendrick Lamar, I would not sit down with any of you for an interview. I would not sit down with any of y'all for an interview. <laughs> I'm sorry. He was mad. That's true. She absolutely right. If I'm Kendrick, I'm not sitting down with none of y'all. Because y'all don't deserve it. Y'all don't deserve it. And then y'all can boo-hoo, whine, and cry all y'all want. Y'all do not deserve an interview from me. Trust and believe that. And when Tommy Richmond did an interview with him and with Tazane Lowe instead, why does everybody feel so entitled? What have you done to make you think I want to sit down with you? What is going on? And it's just so weird. Like the things Kendrick does, but they all somehow feel so entitled to him. And it's like first with the Super Bowl, telling him he must bring this person. He must bring that person on stage with him. And now they want to control who he can and cannot sit down with to express his thoughts. 
y'all are crazy. <laughs> FN, they don't build platforms that these A-list artists will want to be on. Yeah. They don't. We don't we don't have any more. Remember Kendrick told him he better go ahead and leave before people catch on to him when they was recording the Not Like Us video. Also, didn't Elliot say he had to sneak into the back of the pop out? Like he wasn't invited. He had to sneak back there. Okay, home. Yeah. Elliot Wilson's a clown. He's a certified clown. Well, let's keep it going. Then didn't Dave have this conversation with him years ago and he still ain't changed? Literally, Dave Free did an interview. Dave Free don't do interviews. Dave Free had an interview with him and B Dot where he told them they're both professional trolls. Those interviews were like what, maybe five years ago? And like you said, nothing has changed. And to think y'all are gonna tell Kendrick what to do is comical. Yeah. Have- yeah, so I'm gonna stop it there. This actually ends there anyway. But look, y'all make sure y'all go follow her. You know what it is. Yeah, man. I don't like that guy, Elliot Wilson. I never did. I've been talking about him before I even started doing Torture Talk. Always felt like dude, he was a little off. You know what I'm saying? But I did not know that he actually did that. He actually took the verse off of the song and re-uploaded it. I'm thinking that that's what she's talking about. I don't know. I have to go and see for myself. If he did, he's a certified super glazer for that. That's crazy. But either way, man, y'all have yourself a good night, man. See y'all in the morning, man. Peace, bye.